again and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is The Craps Coach. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to be alerted to when we put out new content. Thanks for joining us. This is gonna be a short video and it's gonna be a discussion about money management. All right, if you've watched the previous video, I talked about the bankroll needed to play, but now I want to address two other aspects of the game, your loss limit and your win limit. So to reiterate, um, I'm gonna use an example where the initial bet is uh, $22. So we'll assume it's a $5 table. It's $22 on the initial bet. So the bankroll, as you see, is uh, $220, which is essentially five or 10 times what the initial bet is. And that's a pretty good starting point. All right, so first thing you wanna talk about is win limit, when to walk away. I want you to essentially think about craps in terms of sessions, okay? You're gonna play multiple sessions. You go to the casino with a bankroll and the object is to play multiple sessions, not just maybe just one long session, that's all you need and to walk away. But if you're doing a trip to Vegas, where you're gonna be for multiple days, you wanna be able to play multiple times other than just one time. So don't blow your entire bankroll on your first session. That's why you need to set a loss limit and a win limit. So in this case, a good win limit is about 20 to 30 percent now that's a pretty good return if you put that money in the bank and 30 minutes later 40 minutes later you made 30 percent that's an awesome return so you also just know how to know how to walk away when you're up i've seen too many times people at the tables continue to play they're up a tremendous amount and they continue to play because they use the logic well it's the casino's money which is actually a very true and accurate statement and then the table goes into a trend where it's just cold and they keep losing the next thing you know they're kind of back to their starting point again if you think about craps in the terms of sessions if we're up 20 to 30 percent color up walk away go enjoy yourself um, go get a drink go get something to eat and then come back for another session. Okay, now also the loss limit should be about uh, no more than half of your bankroll. So in the previous video, I talked about, you know, if this is your bankroll, $220, and you have, that's enough to face 10 shooters, and soon into the session, you're down four, you've, you've had four losing hands, it's probably time to pack up and walk away. I see too many people, again, play to a loss limit of 100%, meaning they are playing absolutely every dollar that they bought on the table. One of the things that happens psychologically when you're down is you start getting behind and you start making crazy and foolish bets because you believe you can make it up in one roll, and that's not true. Craps can be a slow grind. This can be entertainment, but it can also be a slow grind to making a profit. But again, you don't wanna lose your entire bankroll in the first session. So if you're down 40%, it's probably time to color up and just walk away, take a little break, and then come back and to do another session. All right, so that's my advice. Again, kind of a short video. Money management, it's a great discussion to have. You have to think about this stuff before you play. What you bring into the table, what you're walking away with, and then either on the uh, when you're up or when you're down. Once again, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, if you have something to say, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you subscribe, you'll be alerted to when we put out new content. Thanks for watching.